went to see you. Mm-hmm. And when I went to see you, the reception was the usual. Mm-hmm. And then I think one of them mentioned something and said, you know, we are serious. We don't come here to joke. No. To whom it may concern, message. Yeah, to whom it may concern. <laughs> Yeah, when we come here, we are serious. Things of God are serious. And if you're not serious with God, it was like some message like, you'll actually burn in hell. This is not somewhere we come to joke. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just felt uh, these people, that's what they are talking about. Ah, uh, I walked out. At that point? Yeah. Uh-huh. Then I went and I found the, the others it. dancing. You joined it. <laughs> there is. <laughs> There was a scream. Yeah, <laughs> you come back. back. I'm back. <laughs> I told okay. them, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm back. Mm-hmm. I was, these people love me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, people. they were excited. They received me heroic. They were yeah. like, so now you're back. But you can see now also what we can learn as Christians. Yeah. That uh, warmth, that communal interaction between people yeah. is very crucial. Yeah, it's so crucial. Very, very crucial. Yeah. So the way we receive people. Even the ones who left us, and then they come back. You, know, you see, your people, your entertainment people, they didn't. Oh, they are not angry at you. Are you going yes, to, what yes. You For them, it's your back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what matters. The prodigal son when he came back home. Oh yeah. Yes. So uh, there, I was, I was received heroically, and I told them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm back. And they told me, oh yeah, now your friend has gone sick. <laughs> we were told she went. <laughs> she went, she fell sick. <laughs> your friend fell sick. Uh-huh. So maybe, so I was like, ah, when she heals and comes back, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll still go back to see you. But mm-hmm. that voice kept ringing in my head. And, and it was daily. It was, it was daily. Like that was the Holy Spirit convicting. It was daily. Like when it's Do just a decision. Mm-hmm then you won't be scared of death. Mm. And actually my fear of death went down kidogo. Mm, Cause now I, I knew I, I was, I was curious. I, there was some hope in not mm. fearing yeah. the whole issue of, you know, there was, there of was something, there's a yeah. cure for this. Yeah, there's a cure. I just need to fear. find this, yeah. this cure. Mm. Yeah. But then I really, I really wanted, I, I was so desperate to go back to Christ. Mm. I was so desperate. I was like, I knew you when I was a kid. I know you. I want to come back. I was wondering, will Miss Vera ever come back again? Mm-hmm. Then I can just tell her point blank. Just show me what do I do? I, I want to. I want this Jesus. But okay, high school ended. So she didn't come back. She never came back. That, yeah, that was the end. <laughs> but you know, we reconnected. You later, yeah, that's why you remember even where she is. At the uh, yes, that's what I'm telling you. I, I think she's there. So. Um, I went to college. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was an ordinary girl. I was, I, I was, yeah, just there, still hiding that I, I, I belong to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nobody knows what conviction is going on in me mm-hmm. over and over and over. And then I went to um, college, and but I really wanted. In fact, at the point where I was, I was just waiting for someone to tell me, That's "Come, cute. this is the way to go to." Jesus and and I would go. So finally, um, just to, because sometimes there could be actually someone mm-hmm. in the very same school you are in, high school, mm-hmm. whose life may be tied to your story. Which high school was this one? Liranda girls. Yes, it's good yes. to mention it. It's good to mention. So all the Wasalimi uh, are <laughs> Hi, if you're somewhere out there listening. Yeah. Yes. You would invite her to school to give her testimony. Again. Oh yes. Awesome. Yeah. You went to college. Which college was this and what? I went to Queensway, to mm-hmm. um, secretarial mm-hmm. Um, college mm-hmm. in Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Yes, and I was I was just I was myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, still with those convictions and telling nobody mm-hmm. that I'm greatly convicted. Mm-hmm. And I went through college. I completed college. Mm-hmm. I started working. I'm still so convicted daily, daily, daily. Like the Holy Spirit was like, when, 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 when are you coming back? When are you coming back? When are you, when are you coming back? It's just a decision. It's just a decision. It kept coming. And In then, college, did you join CU? No, I was just, I was ordinary. Even, even in college, One who can be lost I went the there with my heroicness again. Uh-huh. Yes, <laughs> I was that hero. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. when it's like some school function, uh, I would there. sign up to sing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it would be a secular song. I I loved imitating those musicians. 
yeah hold the microphone so i was there i was lonely yeah this one now she's going to sing the, the song by this <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> now that was me there karaoke i would be like yeah you finish yeah. and then yes. you, you come then, back to, to you work so which, then yeah. I, I i was in nairobi I, I worked in nairobi for a short time some months mm -hmm. then i got the job in Moi. in um, mo university mm -hmm. so when i got the job in mo university Yes, and there's someone else I'd like to thank, and she was a member of this church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Irene Kinuthia. Ah, I remember. Uh, yeah. The lawyer. Yes, was she? No, 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 no she wasn't lawyer. a lawyer. That's no, Ruth, she, Ruth. Ruth Kinagui yeah, was the lawyer. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. I, um, there was one Irene Kinuthia. Mm -hmm. Yes, she, she was attending Siriqua. Mm -hmm. And somehow when we got the job, in Mo, you know we were we, we we were employed a group of us that's why i'm saying when we got mm -hmm. we were a group like these are the new Taken in, girls yeah. who've just been employed mm -hmm. somehow she took it personally upon herself mm -hmm. to be preaching to us every morning mm -hmm. so <laughs> we would take the university bus mm -hmm. and we would arrive so from town, very yeah. early from town we take the university bus different buses mm -hmm. then when we would arrive we would arrive early people would be taking tea then they would go to the office they would be People would be going to the maybe poor used to leave home without breakfast or something. Then she would gather us. She would she would call us. We were like about five of us. And she would tell us, come, 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 you people, let's let's go, let's read the Bible. Let's go to my office. Let's go to my office and let's read the Bible. Let's see what is God saying today. I want to tell you people something. You better take care of yourselves when you've come to work in this university. You know, you 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 can get spoiled, you can really get <laughs> spoiled, and your life can really be messed. You people you people are still young and I don't want your lives to go wrong there are people over here who are willing to mess your lives and they will lie to you with money and you know she would when we are light from the bus until we j we knew we can't escape yeah. Irene so every time we are light from the bus let's just go listen to Irene's scripture and then she'll tell us I want to invite you to our church do you know Siriqua Pentecostal Fellowship? Hey, it's nice. We have fun. Have you ever slept in a tent? I remember one time she asked us, have you ever slept in a tent? I'm wondering, what? In a tent? She said, yeah, we go camping. Wow. Yeah, you should come. <laughs> but we, we never, we, we didn't go. You know, we were all still in, just in the world. But, but for me, I told myself, maybe, maybe one day I should try her church. Then I remember, when I came to Siriqua, mm. it was actually a New Year's resolution. Mm. Yes. Not even to get saved. It was just, it was a New Year's, I would have New Year's resolution. I want to start going so to church. So I want to start going to church. You, you know, like now, we used to go to church when we were kids. Yeah. And then suddenly now you have freedom. Mm. Yeah. You no know, like is, when I was in no college, no one is, then you're like, ah, we can choose. Either we can go to church or not, or not go to church. So sometimes we would go to church and sometimes we just don't go to church. Mm -hmm. And we had decided now, now, now I'm in charge of my own life. Yeah. I'm working <laughs> and it's not my mom paying my rent or my dad. So they are not here to tell me to go to church. So it was a New Year's resolution. I told myself from next year, mm -hmm. Start going to church. I'll, I'll, I'm starting to go to church every Sunday. Mm -hmm. I'll be going to church. So it was a New Year. So the first Sunday of the church oh, of, of the, the year. year sorry the first Sunday of the year I just I came to Siriqua I decided let me go and explore this Irene's church. church yeah let Does me go the explore this Siriqua <laughs> that she's always been saying oh Siriqua Siriqua we I don't know we sleep in tents and we go camping yeah. and we have fun let so me I go decided and see this yeah, let me go see this church. I think that's also a good point <laughs> to notice Kwamba um if you're a member of a church do you really love your church that you can you your love for your church can come through you. And there's simple things that you mentioned. For you, they may not be a big thing. Yeah, in our church, we do this thing, and then that's what you see, bro. It's not that our church is preaching the word fire because the people in the world, they don't know what that means. Oh, yeah. Actually, they don't understand what <laughs> preaching Yes. Fire it's because there is love, and they are feeling, oh, there's like a community, yeah. like a fellowship. Yes. I want to be part of that fellowship. And there's something nice. Yes. You know, you would go and get. And thank you, Irene, uh, so much for, you see, you see your. <laughs> The efforts were not in vain. Yeah, I mean, Kinuthia. I'm a product of many people. Mm -hmm. So I came to. That I came first to, Sunday? Mm -hmm. the, the first Sunday. Mm -hmm. I came and I, and I sat in church. Mm -hmm. And I decided, let me try this church. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll be coming every Sunday. I'm, I'm, yes, I know I, I'm not yet ready to make that mm -hmm. decision. Mm -hmm. 
but I'll be coming to this church. Let me be godly. Let it be the first step of, mm -hmm. you know, trying. And when I, when I was sitting there, something else was telling me, I'm so tired of trying to be good. I'll just go and tell Jesus, take me the way I am. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I, I can't be good enough for you. Mm -hmm. You know, I was also getting fed up. Yeah, of trying to dead. be when yeah when i pray, i'm like now i can't even be good and i was like i'll just come to you by force that's the reality you'll, because you'll you can never me. be good enough yeah mm -hmm. and <laughs> now i was at that point yeah. saying i'm just going to go to jesus and he's going to take me the way i am mm -hmm. and do with me whatever what he he, what he'll do with <laughs> me but me i'll just tell him i'm here to stay and i know i'm not so good so i came and i sat and then they said any visitors mm -hmm. and i raised my hand and they said can you stand up so I stood up and they said, just tell us your name and where you come from. And I, I just took the microphone and I greeted them and I don't know where the words came from. I just told them, my name is Carol Musisi. I work in Moi University. I live in this town and I'm saved. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I don't know where that came I never planned it. To say it. In fact, when I was sitting, I was still like, ah, I'm tired and all. But anyway, when I'm ready, I'll come. I was still, mm -hmm. I'm not yet ready to make. Then I said, I'm saved. Yeah, and I gave, and I wondered, where did that come where from? Come from? Yeah. Anyways, mm -hmm. after the service, mm -hmm. Irene came and she hugged me and she tells me, when did you make the decision? <laughs> and I'm like, I've not even made the decision. It's my mouth that said it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I was saying. But then from there, she already introduced me to a certain couple mm -hmm. who actually became my mentors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in this church, just Brothers. the Phillips. Uh -huh. Yeah, she but took me straight to Molly mm -hmm. Philip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and... Because she knew I lived in Kahoya. Yeah, so and that the Phillips lived in. So she tells me, come and I introduce you to some people mm -hmm. who can put you in a home care. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what's a home care? <laughs> okay. Christianis. Is it some of the ones actually we use, we use in church, we assume everyone knows them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> home care. What is home care? Am I sick? <laughs> Who is caring for me? Who's caring for me at home? Yeah. yeah. So she so tells me, can I introduce you to mm -hmm. someone who's going to um, help you grow through the home care? Mm -hmm. So she goes and she introduces me to this lady and she's like, oh, this is my friend, she's Carol and we are with her at the university and she's saved, she's newly saved and she lives in Kahoya and, and, and then she left us and she went talking to her friends. So from that point on, that's when now Mrs. Philip actually took me and, and I mean, they, they just held me until, yeah, I grew and she was like, oh, so you live there, so tomorrow. She tells me tomorrow, Monday, ah, yes. so we Sunday have our Monday home care. Okay, yeah. yeah, we have home care group. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing in the evening? I say, I, I work during the day. She says, okay, we'll come, come to my house. And she gave me the direction. And she tells me we have um, our home care group mm -hmm. meetings. I said, home care group meetings? And she's like, you come. You'll know what they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And from there, mm -hmm. yeah. So that was now what? the last turning point. Now there was no turning there was no turning back. <laughs> Full gear comes yes. this way. Yeah. yeah. And you see, at the beginning, if you, somebody had told you that this will be, you will, will not be the one sustaining yourself in Christianity, you had given, you had surrendered to Jesus. You said, ah, Jesus, yes. do with me whatever you want. Yes. But actually, you do not, at that point is when you got saved. When you were saying, Jesus, mm. give me uh, I can't do this on my own. That is salvation, actually. <laughs> When you finally realize I can't do it by myself, I am done trying. Jesus, do with me whatever you want. You got saved. So when you're standing up to say, you are very right. I am saved. Yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Now I get you. And then you can see God handing you over from different uh, servants. Yeah. So Irene, your part is done. Now the Phillips, this <laughs> one is yours. <laughs> take over this one from here and that's what god always does yes and um the ability uh, one thing that you've mentioned so far and we should not lose fact of the way people receive you the warmth seeing the humanity in people before even the preaching and the scriptures and everything just that warmth made a difference yes yeah they helped you and then how as we finish how did you finally get this calling to be um, a child evangelist <laughs> okay now um, the calling to be a child evangelist um, I'll tell you something I've had people ask me this question mm -hmm. before how did you start loving kids now there was something about me mm -hmm. when I was a kid mm -hmm. I loved kids mm -hmm. 
yeah so it's just something Natural. that had always been in me even when i was a kid when i would see a baby i would mm. be crying for that baby mm. yes and i would be like please give me please please let me just hold the baby mm. and i dropped very many babies mm. yeah i dropped very many babies i loved babies mm. yeah you know the way you you love like i would look at babies like 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 real dolls they would ah. be they would be the, the like the best living deal yeah <laughs> living, living. i would look at them like now this is a doll that is actually moving and responding moving and responding and living <laughs> so um even when i was a kid mm -hmm. i loved kids i uh. always loved children i i loved kids i wanted to be where mm. children, children are, are. And um, I remember at some point when I went to high school, mm -hmm. I tried to like go into Sunday school, but you know, I didn't also know myself. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ah, let me just go where these kids are playing. I help out, mm -hmm. you know, and I would be sent away, you know, uh, mm -hmm. like, ah, don't come here to play. You don't belong here. Just go. You, <laughs> you like playing, leave these children. This is not there. Mm -hmm. This is, um, um, this is not the place for you to be. But I also didn't understand myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand myself mm -hmm. and the people around me didn't understand me. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. Like, ooh, when we were living in Moe University, mm -hmm. I had some very interesting friends. Mm -hmm. yeah, I had my friends, but I had other interesting friends. And they were maids. Mm -hmm. Yes. House they were house helps. So, you know, it's, it's even interesting because <laughs> they were my friends and even me, I didn't know how they were my friends and why they were my friends and why I had such friends. And we'd actually meet on the road and stop and talk. And my parents were not amused. Like they would ask me, what? Are you what? Are you, <laughs> why do you talk to maids? <laughs> And you know you're talking like they're your friends and even me i would mm. turn to myself and wonder actually how come Where's the connection <laughs> yeah what's our connection mm -hmm. and and then also given mm -hmm. like like my dad was not a small person so mm. it was interesting here then here you are mm. you are uh, 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 how is it that maids are your friends mm. but now when i reflect these were maids who had babies Children. in their houses ah. ba small babies mm. so we knew each other <laughs> Because, because of your interest because of yeah I, and i used to help them with those uh, babies of theirs in fact they would when i would stop to talk to a maid she would be telling me um tomorrow like 10. she would tell me kitu kama sanne kuja unishikie so i would be like great deal and i would go to that house the old the, the parents would not be there and i don't know where the maid was going to but she would leave me with the kid <laughs> Yeah, so that's why we win, 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 win situation. Yeah, so th that's why and for me it was just I want this opportunity mm -hmm. So I would be babysitting for them then I would even strike a deal with them mm -hmm. I would tell them like what time is the baby who is taking a shower mm -hmm. and they would tell me like four mm -hmm. So I would go hang out with my friends. I would be any ordinary mm -hmm. kid or teenager out there, but then four I, I would go just to watch them being washed in the basin mm -hmm. and watch them being dried and I would be like let me put the Vaseline, watch an unpack a Vaseline and all that, let me, let me try and dress them and yeah so that's why they were my friends so that's where I was coming from, see I wasn't born again yeah. But then I, so you I love was, children, but don't know what to do with them. I don't know what to do. I didn't even understand. Okay. I I didn't even <clears throat> know. And so now when I reflect, mm -hmm. those those maids who were like, my friends mm -hmm. are the ones who had children. Children, and I used to help them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to help them a lot. They so, knew this this <laughs> one. <laughs> we, <laughs> they knew uh, this girl. Mm -hmm. This this is his daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when when we want to go do our things, we can get her. And she sits with the baby and there will be no mm. problem. And I would, I would, I would tell them, yeah. I'm coming. And sometimes I would even just bring myself. Mm. And I would be like, is the, is the kid awake? Mm. And they would be like, ah, go on, here. Yeah. And they would be doing it. So I would just be in that house, but I would be with the kid. Mm. But now I was like misunderstood. Like, mm. where were you? What were you doing in that? And many times I got in trouble. <laughs> what are you going to do? In, you know, you were seen coming out of Kina So and So's house. Yani, you're such friends with a maid that you can actually <laughs> go to there. And even me, I was wondering, actually, anyways. 
So that one, then, so, so now that was me. When you were not still That was me, yeah. yes. Yeah, so that was my relationship with children already. So when I came to this church, I remember I would be sitting on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was just the same year, the same year that I came. Mm -hmm. In fact, many times I usually say, I think Jesus had waited for me mm -hmm. and waited mm -hmm. such that by the time I was just saying I'm saved, he loaded on me. Work, Everything because work was waiting for the you. The same year, yeah. <laughs> the same year I got born again. That was the same year I was baptized. The same year I joined Sunday school. The same year I started, you know, teaching Sunday. And I was so active in Sunday school. Mm -hmm. The same year, mm -hmm. like I remember, towards the end of the year, mm -hmm. there was someone we we I, I can't remember who it is. We were talking, but it was just a fellow young adult, mm -hmm. and we were talking of when we got saved. Mm -hmm. And this person got saved before me, and they were like, "What?" You got saved this year. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. You <laughs> don't look it. And then they're like, I you're looking at you, you look like someone who was saved long time. <laughs> and and I'm like, no, I'm that new. Yeah. And I, I think Salvation. Jesus was just waiting and he loaded on me off on me anything. But anyway, let's um, just come to yeah, how I Sunday got school. to where I am, how I joined the Sunday school. I would be sitting mm -hmm. and they would say, Okay, Sunday school children, stand up and go to your um, Sunday school classes mm -hmm. and I would just be looking at them and longing. Mm -hmm. I was just like, I just want to be with those kids. Mm -hmm. And um, something I didn't tell you, mm -hmm. uh, my dream, like my dream career was to be a, a, a nursery school teacher. <laughs> I was it, like, it, it came to I pass. Know if I'm given my choice, <laughs> nursery school teacher. Nursery school. school. Yes. Mm. Yes. And uh, my parents would hear none of it. They were like, That's too low for you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a dream? <laughs> they were like, No, if teaching. Um, the, the, the least you can teach is children in high school, high school. because you have to graduate. <laughs> that was the standard at home. You have to, so parents, you have you can to hear. graduate. <laughs> you, you can listen to what happens to your children when you don't allow them. Yeah. So that. it was like, so if it's teaching, mm -hmm. and my parents would keep telling me, I think you, you can make a very good teacher, but not, not yes, primary sir. and not nursery. Mm -hmm. that, that, you don't have a, there's no future there. Mm -hmm. There's no future there. The, 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 the least you can do is high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they even went ahead and told me, and, and from high school, then you teach in university if it's teaching. High school, but uh, 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 just forget yes, that kind of a dream. <laughs> but mm, that's what I was uh, just That was like, what I was wish. inside. That was what was inside me, just to be in a nursery, not even a primary school. Nursery. Nursery, actually, the babies. So I'll just be looking and wondering, wow. Where are those people? They are going to mm. hey, Sunday school. I wonder what it is. And in my heart, I desired. Mm -hmm. But then I, I thought mm -hmm. that for you to be a Sunday school teacher, you need to have a tall relative. You need to go through 10 interviews. And mm -hmm. then they are like, now you qualify. I thought it was something so difficult. So difficult. To start serving in, in yeah, to ministry. serve in, just to be, <laughs> to serve in. Sunday school. Sunday school and also I thought it was difficult because I thought everyone was like me mm -hmm. yes I everyone, wants, everyone, everyone wants, wants, wants to so be. for you to get I, I thought this is what everybody wants mm -hmm. so how am I going to convince mm -hmm. all these people who've been coming to church all these years and everybody how, how will I convince them that well, so you know to compete with all I thought everybody wants to be with these kids so I thought it must be it, very high demand yeah it, it's high demand so it was a dream mm -hmm. so i would just sit and say wow suffering lucky are those lucky are those who are, <laughs> who are going allowed, to teach yeah who are allowed to work with children for me for me it was like mm -hmm. it's for maybe just the chosen few mm -hmm. since everybody wants it